morning. And it's my birthday. I feel like this is the best birthday present. I'm 41, if you must know. I've got my camera with me out here. I'm gonna take as many photos and things as I can because I love fog. It's as thick as soup. just arrived it turned up it's the birthday cat hello and it feels so soft and fluffy and cute but it's a bit scared but it wants to come inside I've always dreamed of an animal adopting us maybe it's really happening I actually think it's probably more likely it's our neighbor's cat <laughs> and it's discovered that we have kids and food but still it can come and visit and say hello doing a thumbnail at the last minute because I didn't do it <laughs> and the birthday cat's still here she's a bit nervous about coming out here
but my friend said they can have milk. <laughs> I have to go get food today. I'm not even sure whose cat this is. Sunday morning and I have a story to tell you about this cat but I think I'll just get ready for the day I can't go to church today because James is sick I am going to get ready for the day and we're going to sit down and talk about the cat but first I want to show you something maybe now our house is a home I'm a picture of fashion <laughs> with my woolen socks and my Crocs on. Okay, so the cat story. I think I've manifested this cat because we have that sign on the door that says a home, a home without a cat is just a house. And I thought it was funny because we don't have a cat. So people would come to the door and they'd be like, oh, we, don't, we didn't know you had a cat. And I'm like, no, we don't. <laughs> and I'd do, that's all I'd say. And I'd just watch their confused faces. <laughs> uh, it was so funny. But that doesn't work if there's a cat sitting at the door, which there is. I think I manifested this cat because I've like had this daydream for years that a cat would turn up and adopt us and live in the barn, like live in a loft in the top of the barn and be a farm cat and follow me around the farm. Anyway, it turns up on my birthday, so it's the birthday cat. We don't have a barn, so it can't live in the loft. And it's still here. I do need to go to the vet and get it microchip scan, just to check if there's a chip, like if somebody's registered this cat and is looking for it. But yeah, the kids are loving having a cat. And I'm its new staff member that has to get up at 6 a.m. and give it food. And Moroni is going off to buy cat things today, so <laughs> I would say the family is is hoping that this is our cat. <laughs> Ben, it looks so good. That's pretty. You even put rocks in there. This is Ben. <laughs> oh, it looks really good. Ben and his family are visiting and he wanted to do something on the farm. And this is what we kind of chose because he's really good at bricklaying and things like that and the plan is we're putting double doors in here and it's going to be a little studio so now we have a gorgeous patio to walk out onto thank you so much ben It's actually lunchtime. <laughs> it was so cold this morning. The most beautiful frost. I just love it so much. It looked like a winter wonderland to me. There was just sort of icicles on everything. There was even ice falling off the veranda and it was kind of hitting the sun and I felt like it looked like snow. Oh, I just love it so much. Like I kind of can't get enough of it when it's like that. So I was out here filming, taking photos. So today, what I need to do is just get a whole heap of odd jobs done around the farm. So I've got a list. Let's have a look. 
So this is the list. I'm just gonna start working through it. This is what I'm hoping to do. So I just need to really focus for the next three and a half hours. That's all I've got left. Try and get as much done as I can. Here's the cat. She's become a house cat now. little baby um, we have sort of advice about what to do so there's no microchip and it seems she's pregnant <sighs> we've spoken to a rescue and they've basically said what's happening at the moment people are driving their cats out of town and dumping them and that's how they're getting rid of their cats which is really sad. They said a lot of people on farms and out of town are calling in having found a stray cat. This one's not technically a stray cat. It's obviously been looked after. It knows how to be polite inside a home and everything. It's actually been, I, I think it's been quite well looked after. But when I mentioned to the shelter, I, I think it's pregnant. And I explained why I think that. She's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're having kittens very soon. And she just said, you know, if you've had a random cat turn up and it hasn't left again, it's most likely, particularly now we know it's pregnant, highly likely it was dumped, which I think is so sad because she's such a lovely little cat. It's just so sad. Anyway, we've got an arrangement with this um, shelter. Um, we'll obviously look after her. They're going to sort out all the dissexing of her and the kittens. We have to wait for the kittens to get here. And then every, everyone will get microchipped and then we will take her back and they will rehome the kittens. If somebody had have said to me, oh yeah, you'll turn 41, a cat will turn up and you'll be a cat person, never would have imagined it. Like this is a definite wild card in life, but it's been nice. Like maybe she's what we needed. I'll put those on. I've got to show you something else. My friend, my German friend, she knitted me socks and they're so beautiful. I'm going to show you. They're going to be my socks like, because I love to have a shower. I find it so relaxing. And then get into my nice pajamas. I've got a nice towel. Like the whole thing's every night, like this cool ritual. And then I have a nice bed with all my floral patterns. So I feel like the end of the day is a nice time for me. And now I've got beautiful socks to put on. Look at them. She knitted the whole thing and she even sized my foot so they fit perfectly they won't slip I know it doesn't look like it because I really do nothing with my hair it's just so thin and like fine I feel like there's nothing I can do but I'm gonna start working on it so I bought my mum sent me some birthday money I bought nice silk pillowcases and they've got flower patterns on it I feel like I need to go check the letterbox, see if they're here. Hi, Evie, bye, Evie. Just remembered. So something I did this morning while we had the really heavy frost was I went out and looked for pockets where there was no frost and I took photos. So I've got a record of where we can plant more sensitive plants that aren't gonna get hit by the frost. And we've actually got uh, three main areas where we can utilize for frost sensitive plants which is really exciting and it was a very heavy frost this morning so I feel like that kind of frost doesn't happen many times over winter maybe 10 times and if these spots don't get frost then we should be good to go on some more tender plants. Myself. I find this so frustrating. It really annoys me <laughs> when there's just jobs I, I want to get them done, can't do it because I need another person. So this job's now on hold. I have to wait for Moroni to get back from work so I can get this one done.
finished. <laughs> Just sucks a little bit. Hi, boss. I've put her outside. She's a bit of a lounge lizard. She's so calm. My cat's normally like this. Like very cuddly and very calm and very well mannered inside. She doesn't love it when I touch her paws, but okay, I did not get the jobs done. And it's my own fault because I started so late today. Why did I do that? It was just so cold this morning and my toes were feeling freezing. I think I just, and I had to catch up on the things I was behind on like there was bills I had to pay and there was some things I had to submit online I couldn't not do those things yeah and just by the time I got out it was pretty late a friend visited yeah, anyway so that's what we got done so much I can't get enough of it and I feel like when it ends in when spring hits I really miss it it's also amazing to me that bare empty soil can bring so much joy and the fact that I know that it's full of life before the plants even get in there 